Saturday was by far one of the busiest trips, but not even the, the most exhausting. Saturday morning, we got up early and went to the White Emperor City, which is a small island located uh, near one of the big gorges that, that the cruise ship actually sails through. An interesting thing about the place is that before the Three Gorges Dam was built, this island was much, much higher up and you had to climb something like 1400 steps to get up to the top. But after the dam was built, um, the sea level has raised significantly and now you only have to walk up about 360 or 320 or so steps. The White Emperor City was cool, it was small, and we had a lot of time to really look around and, and get a lot of video clips. That was really cool, a really nice place to see. And I know that many of the, the other foreign tourists who are on the boat and took part in that uh, optional trip really enjoyed it as well. I don't know how these guys do it. It's hard enough for me to walk up here, but these guys are just carrying other people going up these steps. <sighs> now, I, I, and I go home. One more. It's a long way up. It's one thing carrying yourself. These guys are superhuman. Oh, this rock is cold. So we made it up to, to the top, this little island uh, where the White Emperor City is. It's actually much smaller than I anticipated, but still fairly nice. All the tour groups are moving really, really slowly around, uh, which is just a sign that there's so much history and so many things to be told about this place, which is great, because I'm all about that stuff. And it's funny because yesterday I was complaining that we didn't have enough time in Fengdu to really take in everything. Uh, but here, it is almost like we're here for too long. We have two hours at this place and splitting off from the group. I think I toured the whole thing in maybe 20 minutes or so. It's a little cool up here on the, on the little island. Funny thing is, before they built the dam, many of the buildings that were on the lower part of the island uh, were still there. And you would have to climb 1400 steps to get up to the top where we are now. After the Three Gorges Dam was built, uh, the sea level rose significantly and now many of the buildings that were located at the lower end of the island are now gone and only the top part here remains and now you only have to climb 360 steps. Thankfully you can buy your way up the stairs by paying for those guys who carry you up. It just looks insane. I don't know how they can do that. But on top of that, because I know I'm a little bit on the heavy side, I would feel so bad about getting those wagons to carry me all the way up. Coming back from the White Emperor City, we then went on to do a separate boat cruise, so a, a trip on a smaller boat, taking us into the Lesser Three Gorges, and from there, an even smaller boat taking us into what is called the Mini Three Gorges. It's hard to explain what this place is like. You really just have to come and see it with your own eyes. And while going on a cruise in Chongqing might not be something uh, that most younger people tend to think about doing, um, really, if you're into to scenery, if you want to see spectacular sceneries, mountains, green, sort of emerald-colored water, uh, this is an absolute must. Fengdu Go City was really nice, the White Emperor City was nice, but there is no doubt that going into the Lesser Three Gorges, sailing through the gorges on the way here, and even the Mini Three Gorges is an absolute must. I was completely blown away by how beautiful that place is. Yeah. You know, find your coffin. You know that uh, when people die, uh, they still put a wooden coffin. Uh, inside the cave, usually inside the cave, but on the ledge of the cave, we could see that because now this river much, much higher. Uh, the cough is here in Wuxia, uh, more than 2,000 years. That's amazing right here, the second gorge. Uh, third gorge, uh, we call it Emerald. Emerald. So last gorge, uh, we call it Mini. Finally on one of the more important parts of the Yangtze River cruise is that we're going into now what is called the Lesser Three Gorges, a smaller tributary river that flows into the Yangtze River and then continues on from there. Uh, and then on that trip we're also going to go into a, a smaller boat that's going to take us to the Mini Three Gorges. So we're actually off the cruise ship at the moment on a smaller tour boat uh, because the water here is, is uh, narrow, the, the passage is narrow.
slowly coming up into third and last off the lesser three gorges. Made it through the, the past two already, and I have to admit they're quite a sight. Even with the weather is is as it is today, which is a little dark, and cloudy, and rainy. Um, I'm actually very much surprised at what I've seen so far. So I'm looking forward to seeing the last one. The last one's called the Emerald, uh, the Emerald Gorge. We've actually been uh, racing against some of the other boats and overtook one a little while back, which was cool. So slow. So we're coming to the end of the Lesser Three Gorges here. And I have to say, this uh, landscape is something very, very, very special. Not something that I've ever seen before. It just goes to to show how much beauty there is in this place, in this country. In a minute, we're gonna go on the smaller boat to go on the mini Three Gorges cruise. And uh, they say that's gonna be even more beautiful. So I'm looking forward to that. That's it for the, more or less, the mini Three Gorges cruise. We're just sailing to this location and coming back. So we just looked at one of those caves, one of the only caves on this little stretch that actually has one of those hanging coffins in it. So now the boat's turning around. We're going back to the boat that we were on before. It's been a busy day. Went to the, to the White Emperor Palace this morning, came back for lunch, and then came straight here. So it's been a, a busy day. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. 